That's good. Alright. Let me show you how to get all your stuff working on FL Studios. Hopefully I can show you this with no problems. Okay. How to get your mixer working at those FL Studios. With the Novation and Post 49. First off, if you want to get all these working with your mixer, so right now, my mixer is not cooperating. It doesn't work with it. Okay, I'm going to mix one. Nah, set up. Okay. Okay, mix not working, right? Go up here. Multi link to controller. Highlight it, indicate it, make sure it's on. All you do is go to your thing. Right click, I mean, left click, and just move them. Move your first eight. After you move your first eight, you got this button right here. And notice that it says MIDI channel one. Okay? And you just keep moving them until you get to the end. Well, okay. I don't know why I keep thinking that's the fair, but as you can see now, I'm controlling all of them. I can get my mixer going. High ride fucking please now if you want to go even further down the line all you have to do is go to your MIDI channel I don't know if you guys can see this let me see if I can see this for you just trying to make more room okay so you go to the MIDI channel. Go to the MIDI channel too. It's right underneath the keyboard button underneath your thing. You hit that, you turn your knob to two, and you just repeat the same steps that I just did. But it might kinda I hit enter for some reason. It might kinda throw you off. Okay, so I stopped at eight. I'm just gonna repeat the same steps. I just got in the mini channel too. Okay, so it's 16. So I want to start. Is it on? Damn it. Alright, let's do this over. Start at 9. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Ah, something's conflicting. Okay. And I want all these to start on 2. Move that one, move that one. Just take them all to two. Okay, and mind you, you're able to move the rest of them. If you want to go back, I'm gonna save that. Uh, go back to two to one. So now. Just by hitting the MIDI and switching the one and two, damn it, I can control the last set, the MIDI channel again, I can go to the first set, I can control all of them. Alright, um, somebody asked me how do I get the FL Studio name on here, okay, let me show you this. See the FL Studio name, right? Okay, so all you gotta do, hold down shift and then hit keyboard. Once the light starts flashing, you can see on right here, I have a little cursor under there. If you hit plus and minus, plus will take you to the right, minus will take you to the left. And it'll move you. Use the knob to change. You, you know what I'm saying? T. That's how you do that. That's very fucking simple. Oh shit, didn't show you that. After that, you want to hit. Uh, after you do that, and you say your shit's blinking, you hit enter. And then to show you this, save template. You just hit enter again on the knob, and it'll save it. That's how I got mine to work. So mine is just set on 17. It's just a number that fucking 
I learned how to do it on. So another thing you want to learn how to. Uh, sorry, same rules. Same rules apply to this. Okay, you want to set up your little knobs and shit, right? So say, I want to go here. You can set this up with anything, dude. Anything. And you can do the same MIDI channels. It's exactly the same thing I just did with the mixer. All right, you do, say I go reverb. Okay, I'm um, with the reverb, right? Go back up to the multi channels. This is just for like multi channels. You don't have to do it this way. You can actually go in and right click and lay the controller, but it's going to take a little longer to do that. Okay, so then I go to my controllers. One, two, three. You just turn them. And hit accept. I just did too many of them. That's why I did that. And you can see, I got all of them tweaking. So, yeah, I mean, this shit is, like, very fucking simple. And I guess if you want another one, you got up to 16 of these fucking things. 16. I can go all the way up to 16. You can set up a lot of this shit. You can actually leave this on one, since that's your first one. And then, uh, if you know MIDI like that, you can actually set this shit up to, like, Let's see, link the controller. Man, it's so many. You can do it on the controller or whatever you want. If you know MIDI like that. I'm not going to get into all that because I don't have enough time. And you can have it on. As long as you have this too, you ain't got to have it on auto detect. You don't have it on auto detect. There's going to be a problem. And you can also remove conflict. Removing the conflicts will actually, uh, wait a minute. Hmm, let me try something. Try something, try something. It might set it to what's the name? If I remove conflict. No, it didn't work. Sorry about that, I've been interrupted my asshole. Anyways, I can't see what I'm doing. I need this up. But I remember there was a way that I had it set that I didn't have to do the whole channel thing. I don't remember. But along with it, you know, set it to the next one. On to the next one. Um, okay. Pads. You want to know how to get your pads going, right? Ugh. So, on your pads, what you want to do, okay, we're done with this, on your pads, let's see, da, 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 da. so I go in here, set up F, set up a, a FPC for my pads, okay, I want your FPC to work, I want your pads to work, pads aren't set up. See. But they have sound in What you do is you go right here, click on the click down, map notes to entire fucking bank. So you do that, and all you do, once you click that, click, click, go through your pads. Once you, you only got fucking four pads. You can't really go too much higher. I haven't even fucking tried it. I'm so used to that, using eight, but, um, you gotta cancel your fucking cancel that because you're not you don't have any more pads to go on anymore. So and once you get, I suggest this is what I suggest strongly. When you sit up here and you tweak everything that the fuck you want to tweak everything, go up here and save it. Save that mother. Mine is really actually the master impulse settings set up. That's what I save mine under. Because every time you open this one set, all your shit will be set. All your EQs, all your pads will be set. You don't have to go.
go through any of this anymore. So you set that up like that. You save it. Name it what you want to name it. Like I made another one that was like uh, cancel that. I made another one that was like P test. So you just go in here and save it like anything else. You go save it over there. You can save it right here. It doesn't fucking really matter where you save it. Word of advice. When you get to making your beats. Oh shit. Do not. Once you save it. Basically don't save it over the same shit. Because then you'll go back and you'll have a fucking beat on it and then you don't want the beat and then you have to try to take the beat off. I use this every time I open up Free Loose. My master impulse setup is the first thing I open up. And say if I start a beat, I make sure I go over here and I save it and rename it something totally different so I won't fuck up my main session. Because you don't want to do that. It's pretty gay when you do that because then you have to go back and redo everything. But this is my main session, so that's how I get my shit twerking. I add anything in there I want. Um, this is how my main session just looks. I haven't even gotten everything up yet. I keep everything just like this. And I have my favorite little whatever daily does on my FPC. It's already loaded up with sound. I got my mixer going. My mixer's already loaded up. I don't really have to do anything. I can go straight to two. I can go straight to three, two, whatever. Am I doing this right? No, I'm on three. So straight to two. I'm good. I haven't even set up three because I really I had to start all over again because I did the dumb shit of actually saving over or something. So that's about my time, man. I'm about up. I don't want to go into any details, any more details. But if y'all have any questions, let you know. I'll help you out. show you transport if you ever want to get into your transport if you want to transport to work what you gotta do is okay I got my transport to work because I'm right here okay I got my impulse mine says four that's because I've like took my computer apart and started all over and shit that's why I just reading the same fucking thing it's, don't worry about that four you go into your four you want to activate, I don't know why this works, but the M Audio Oxygen 49 just seems to work. You enable it. Once you enable it, you shut this down. Don't even worry about this bullshit at the top. You don't have to worry about that. Then, you go here. Alright. Damn, turn my light off. Sorry about that. Go here. You want to hit setup. Okay. Light your setup up. Always make sure that shit says MC. If you have it on CC, this will not work. And this is how I get my transport to work. See, it's all playing. You can stop it. Record. It even fucking like backs up. If I'm playing on track, it'll fast forward, rewind, and all that shit. And this is just another stop. So that's how you get your transport to work. All right. So if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm here to help. I'll teach you as much as I can about this shit because I'm still learning a lot myself. But I kind of stopped because I'm there already. So fuck you. So hit me up. I'll show you all the way. Watch man's out. Just